so as those of you who know me know that I'm not a particularly superstitious person, but I do recognize luck and probability and how unlikely it was for Nozzy and I to meet. So far, actually, the chances of a 24-year-old boy from Eastbourne you know, on his first day in a city full of 10 million people to meet the love of his life, you'd probably say they were pretty slim. And they are very slim. So I kind of, kind of consider it as just like winning the lottery and being struck by lightning on the same day. I'm very much um, happy to have um, Chris as my son. He is very straightforward, he's, he's very kind, very loving, and very full of laughter. You, 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 can, you can't get angry with him. You're just wasting your time because he, he's always happy. He's a very happy man. and the love of your family and your friends pouring out to you. And I want you to remember this feeling that you can draw on it during tough times to give you strength and let it nourish you even more during times of joy. Beautiful is a day that is touched by love. May this moment be remembered and cherished. Now our lives are one. I'd like to thank everyone here for coming all this way and celebrating our special day together. Having each and everyone here has made, has made today. The thing that struck me about their teamwork, they, they were clearly very fond of each other, but was the harmonious way with which they were um, organizing themselves in the kitchen, uh, which has never been my experience when I've had um, partners in the kitchen uh, when I've been doing the cooking. And I think that's a testimony to the genuine friendship that, that they both have.
the last of the thanks, but I think you'll agree one of the most important, probably the most important. I'd like to thank my wife um, for being my partner, my best friend, and promising to walk down life, life's winding path with me, hand in hand, together. So I'm just going to give her a kiss.